Okay, is everybody ready? Ready as we're ever gonna be. Ready? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Lynn from Ellen J. Goods. We're so happy you're here with us today. It's Monday. Um, we have gotten off to a great start this morning, haven't we? <laughs> is it morning? <laughs> Megan and I are ready to like, ah! <laughs> okay, we got it together. And we got it together, absolutely. Once the camera comes on, what happens? It's all good. It's all well, good. Well, that's our goal is to just get the camera going, <laughs> so we're good. usually half of the problem, yes. right? Exactly. So um, I'm so glad you're here today with us. Um, we are, um, I know I promised on Friday that we were going to finish that great big. Oh, yeah. But I, I'm telling you, I had to make a couple of adjustments. I was uncomfortable with, as I looked at it, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. There's um, a couple of pieces that were missing and another that was loose. I'm like, no, I got to take care of that before I finish it. So what I did, Megan, is I recorded all of my steps, Good. and we're gonna I'm gonna finish that up, and then I'll show that as a um, as an edited video on YouTube. Beautiful. So you'll be able to go and watch how I did that. So, um, but I can say. It is a beautiful thing. It really is. And my goal is to try to get that done before the before we open so I can get it hung up in its special spot in the front of the store. But um yeah, it was a uh, was a busy weekend here at Ellen J Goods. That's it great. was. Ellen J Goods is a little brick and mortar in Medina, New York. Um, we had a lot of visitors here. Um, and lots of people shopping already for their holiday decor. I know some people have been shopping since July. I know you have been making since July, mm -hmm. but I just could not resist um, doing a couple of ornaments today because something really exciting happened, which I'll explain in a few minutes. But, um, so we're gonna do ornaments two ways today. Um, I'm gonna do a fun gingerbread ornament, and I'm gonna do a fun, or no, not I shouldn't say fun, Fun and gingerbread goes together. Yeah. The other one is going to be uh, using the winter scenes uh, uh, paper from Decoupage Queen, and this is from Dainty and the Queen. And I'm going to create a beautiful winter scene ornament. Now, these are a little more involved, obviously, but these are those special ornaments that maybe um, you know maybe you've cut back on your gift giving and you just want to create something beautiful and a, a lovely piece that um, is an heirloom piece and I think that that's beautiful I love tucking these I like hanging them off of a door handle I I like um, in my hallway I have a, a thing with all these hooks on it and very often I'll hang one of my little ornament creations um, just off of one of those hooks just as a special little remembrance so um, these are these make great like extra special gifts and I'm, I'm excited to share them with you today cute so let's flip the camera down but uh, oh if you're here you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook or we also stream our, our uh, last uh, video that we do over on our website. There's a supply list, Megan. Would you like to take it, take it away? There's a supply list that actually mom created it today. I did, Usually yes. it's me, but she did it today. Yes. And you can find it in the description box on Facebook and then above on Facebook, above. below on YouTube. Or if you're watching it on our website, you can find it right to the right of where you're looking at the video or in the drop down menu at the top of our website under mm -hmm. featured on our live tutorials. Yes, we've okay. made it easy. We've made it so easy. And I get a lot of great feedback about that too. Good. And I'm sure you do too, Lots since we've started doing that. Lots of compliments on your earrings. That <gasps> well, you look oh, they are pink. not in the group. They're, looking, or they're not in the in the list because I just threw them on. Yes, these beaded gingerbread earrings oh, aren't they so, so cute. cute? They really are, and I love pink. I do. So um, I'm wearing an old sweatshirt from years past. It's one of my favorite from sweatshirts ever. Christmas past. Christmas past. Yeah. It's a ghost of Christmas past. Yes. So. Um, 
Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Do we have some friends watching today, Megan? Yeah, lots of friends here. Stephanie's here. Amanda's getting to watch live today because she's getting her car serviced. Miss <coughs> Shirley is here. Kathy. Patty Levine is here. And Patty Hogan. Oh. Judy. The Patties. A couple yeah. of bookends right yep. there. Dolores is here. That's on YouTube. <laughs> on Facebook. Do you have your, oh you do have your Christmas journal because I want you to show that today. Yes, I will. Deb Bird is here. Suzanne, the dame Deb Bird is here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Suzanne, Rose, Vicki, Jean Higginbottom is here. Jean. Mary Casey, Kathy, oh. Holly, Shannon Booth, Brenda, Tommy's here. Melissa Jacobson here. You got your package, Melissa, and you finally got candy because you finally ordered something that wasn't completely flat. <laughs> So I tried to make up for it and that give you lots awesome. of candy. She never gets it because she usually she orders things that get going on. And, yeah, but... yeah. So now she got candy. I even gave her a mallow cup. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Yes, my last one. My oh, last one no. I gave to you, Melissa. My very last. Oh, we have to have hey, Melanie. Kid. Melanie's coming down next week to continue like helping to work on the the little the doll the little dollhouse no the giant dollhouse that's going in the window of the shop and uh she's actually going to um share her technique for gold leafing with Ooh, me the beautiful big arched antique um mirror that i literally found it in, uh, on the side of the road Wow. In the rain, picked it up. It was painted pink, so I was very tempted to leave it. Yeah. But um, no, I wanted it. I wanted it um, to have a really wonderful, crackly, wonderful golden look to it. So. Are you gonna film it? Uh, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I think you should. Oh, I think everybody would yeah. like to see that. Well, we'll see what day she can come. Yeah. So. Well, you can film it no matter what the day she comes, whether it's live. It just matters whether it's live or not. Really. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, friends. Let's get this little party started and make some ornaments. I know, um, you know, I'm telling you, it has been such a busy week, and it, we get, oh, so wrapped up in just the busyness and the hubbub. And honestly, somebody asked me the other day, Megan, um, like, do you, like, get to just create for yourself? And I, and I reminded me that, Yes, I do, but I have to make time for that. Yeah. And I haven't. It's been it's been so busy. I just haven't done that. So yes, I, I that look was, forward what was to nice that. about you going away. Yeah, yeah. But um but also it's it's important for me to find that time at home. Of even course. if it's for 15, 20 minutes in the morning mm -hmm. or um after dinner instead of just plopping on the couch and doing, you know, this and yeah. Um, just to go in and create. I struggle with the same thing. It's like, wow, you know, what's the matter with me? Like, I, I love doing this, and I don't do it necessarily to create something for you guys. It's more, it's just to to explore and create new techniques and just play, like, in my journal and so forth, and with all my Timmy stuff. So I think I might do that um, tomorrow morning. Because yeah. I won't be here tomorrow morning. We'll be here for our workshop, which I'll talk about in a little oh, bit. Do we have that tomorrow night, too? Yeah. Okay. We do. <laughs> you going to join us? Well, yeah, I have to. <laughs> it's my job. I'm just still trying oh. to squeeze in that day off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, a really exciting thing happened. Um, first, a really sad thing happened to me, for me, is that I used to get these ornament blanks from AB Studios and because and I love them. I love the size of them. I love the way that it frames out a wonderful piece um, or a wonderful circle in the middle. Um, I like the weight of that. I like everything about them. And then I couldn't get them anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I found somebody that would make them for me. They look and great. They look They really look great. so good. And also, they're a little different. They're a little different in that, you know, the back doesn't have the hook thing, but it doesn't matter. 
But um, you've seen me work with these a lot. I they're they make perfect vessels for like pouring resin, clear resin in here. They're great for making layered effects. They're wonderful to do a couple of different techniques on one small piece. Um, I've done them in many, many ways and have enjoyed them very much. So I'm happy to say they are back and they're about three bucks less than what I was nice. able to sell them for before. So that's a really good sign, right? Yes. And so these are back and um, we're going to work with them today. So let's, uh, let's get it started. I want to show you the only difference. I'm using my very last one here that I had. There's they um, they actually this this back piece here um, also has like the ornament hanger part this does not so whatever it works it works for me so what I've done these are um, because these are a darker brown and I'm going to be decoupaging over them I do like to paint them white and base coat them um, and I've done that ahead of time, okay? Very so good. that's done. The other thing that we'll be using is this set of resin houses. I know some of you, these are not IOD, um, so we have cast the houses because I absolutely fell in love with them. But there's, how many in a set? I think five in a set. And we used these in our, oh my goodness, in our lovely um, shadow box class. Our winter and Christmas version um, you can still join this class it's yeah. awesome our next one is going to be spring summer and it won't be until January so um, these are the resin castings that I've, I've used and I picked out two of the smaller ones one of them I base coated white and one of them I base coated in this gingerbread color so let's do another coat on my little gingerbread color here and you guys have seen me do this before. To make a gingerbread color, because there just isn't anything in Debbie's DIY or in Fusion that makes a gingerbread color. And so what you do is you wanna pull, um, this, is, this is Tuscan Orange. You could also use um, Summer Crush, mm -hmm. right? Um, and this is Liberty Blue. You could also use um, Hey Sailor. Yes. Okay. I've used both combinations, and I, you know, I was gonna really try hard not to get paint on me today. So close. Golly. So close. Yep. Your mother. If makes anybody, mess. just remember that we're always streaming to Facebook, YouTube, and our website at the same time. So if you're ever having like some audio issues on one platform, you can always just switch oh, over to I another. I forgot to hook up the microphone today. I really wanted to do that. We'll get I, there. We'll I get did. there. Yes. <laughs> this is what my 28th set of uh, microphones. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't, well, our boom mic, I don't know why we stopped using that. That worked well. It doesn't work well when you have to, like, travel. Like, mm -hmm. like when we do a shop walkthrough yep. or... Or so forth but that's when I use the uh, I have a microphone that goes on our stabilizer for that <sighs> I do I thought we had issues with that though mm -mm. that works great all right so there you go you mix those an orange and a blue together to make this gingerbread color beautiful and let me give it a second coat and we'll let that dry while I go on to decoupage my pieces. Hey there, Liz Clark. Hi, Liz. And Cheryl Macedo. Oh, Carol, Cheryl. Jennifer. So Cheryl sent <laughs> this comedian. I know she was correct. Oh, up. my gracious. Cheryl, I still, I woke up this morning, literally, like I got up, like got cleaned up and standing in front of the mirror. And this comedian is like <laughs> talking about women and aging and what happens to our bodies and, and she said she said I passed by the mirror the other day and I passed by the mirror the other day and I'm like what is that hanging off my neck I looked closer and it's like it's my neck hanging off my neck just die oh my gosh I just can't stop thinking about that 
<laughs> Monique Fusion has a chocolate color too, and so does DIY. They're just not quite right for gingerbread. They're not. They're dark. They're dark. Yeah, we have lapel mics. That's what um, we're gonna use. But we it's we don't film that often when mom is walking around. Um. And everybody that asks us, oh, I've had these things for so many years. <laughs> All right, let me put these in water. Um, so there you go. There is our gingerbread paint color. We're going to let that dry. I put them back there. Okay. Now we'll put these aside because we don't need them. All right, I'm going to do these two ways. Let's do our Dainty and the Queen first. Um, I, my, my, my vision for this was this beautiful scene right here and I'm kind of keeping this a little bit neutral and I wanna put this house on here to overlay it. Cute. This will be in the background, all right? So I am going to get this and I'm gonna always check to see my placement. I love the little flowers that are there. I wanna make sure my horizon is gonna sit nice and straight in there. This is gonna be pretty. This is gonna be really pretty. Look at the ice skaters, oh my gosh. Love it. So cute. All right. So a now fly the, is buzzing around. A fly is Get buzzing out of here. around. I know. All right. So my decoupage medium du jour today is the Pentart decoupage varnish and glue in a matte finish. Did I start recording up above? You know that would help if mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so I have this paper. I just want to get this on here and <laughs> what? Jane Marie said, watch your glue gun if it's plugged in. Why? So you don't burn yourself? Oh yeah. Yeah, good idea. Um, Shannon wants to know if she signs up for tonight's class, is there anything else you need she needs to do to be prepared? No, no you don't have just to watch. We usually recommend that you just come and watch the first time through anyway. So sign up. It's not yeah. too late nope. at all. In fact it's never too late. Um, if it's important to you to be there live, then yeah, sign up today and join us live. Um, and it's okay. Maybe you missed the first class live, but you can make the second class. One of the things that I'm going to be having Jonathan do um, is edit out, edit our uh, our private workshops mm -hmm. and get them, you know, down into like manageable um, length of time, mm -hmm. so that um, we can get those edited and then I can give you, a, you know, share a link in the group. Uh, to YouTube and you would have access to those there yeah so you can easily watch them again and you you don't have to go through all of the the chatter and all of that or you can if you if you like that that's part of the you fun can. but I also if you're you know you do you might watch that your first time through and then your second time through you might want to watch the edited one when you're getting down to business I don't right this on there straight it's not I can tell Jeez, I tried so hard <laughs> Um, but one of the best things I think about the the private classes is that you are a part of a group and a community with other people. It's so so good. it's yeah. it's different than right here when you're watching on YouTube or Facebook because you can actually communicate more with each other, share pictures with each other, yes. get to know each other better. It's a lot really nice. of people that have uh, become friends in yeah. in, those, in that group. Okay, perfect. Uh, the supply list for the class, is that not posted in the group, Mom? It is posted in the group. Um, yes, it is. It's up under the Featured tab. And, again, you don't have to use everything that we are using. You can use your own stuff. Um, the important thing about tonight's 
is going to be the construction of this particular journal. Okay, so I've got this decoupage on the background here. And then, believe it or not, you guys, you know what I'm going to put on the outside of this? I see it under featured. It should be. Okay, well, I'll look at it later. Okay. Um, I'm actually using this decoupage paper, which is called... Uh, it's an AB Studios, and I forget what she calls it, like a tan and green background. But I wanted something a little more, I don't know, I just wanted something a little more with the organic kind of looking for around the outside. But we're going to make it pretty. So let me get this on. Of course you're going to make it pretty. This would also be pretty if you did this and used, oh, the white um, Pentart uh, velvet powder would mm -hmm. be beautiful. Or the I've tan. Never seen, I've never seen you use the white. Yeah, I, I don't know that I ever have. Okay, I just want to get this position. I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of like tree bark or something when I look at it from a distance. And let me get this on. Okay. I'm going to find that. I'm going to look, Cheryl. I know I don't see it either. Um, you know what? Just... Huh. I'll find it. We'll figure it out. I thought... I know that I... I also put like the PDF and I thought I put the it may just be because I'm looking at it from the perspective of an administrator mm -hmm. um, and I need to look at it you know what I'm saying no it should still be there if not just uh, I, I think we'll figure it out yeah okay so, all right, let's go ahead and do the other one, the gingerbread one. For this, I chose, because you guys, I know a lot of you have these backdrops, but you can use whatever you want. Um, but I'm just totally into this whole, like, cute little candy-ish looking. So, I love that this piece of Tim Holtz backdrop, the one side, actually has... Um, a gingerbread recipes on it and even though they're not gonna show like I just like knowing that that's back there and I think it's really cute and I'm trying to say maybe I can get a little bit of that maybe the word gingerbread look at gingerbread nuts Ugh. <laughs> what would a gingerbread nut be I, I don't know no idea and you know like I said it's not going to really show but I like that this kind of recipe is in the background I think it's really cute so what I'm gonna do with this one is I am going to let me trace this out is the velvet powder like flocking yes it is mm -hmm. It's cool. We should show that again. Kelly says old CDs or CD rooms make a great surface and on the label side leaving the other catches light and reflects magically. Ooh. And I'm just gonna hey, Tracy. outside my line a little bit. Yeah, the, uh, there's no featured tab in the Christmas journal group. Okay, we'll take care of that as soon as we're there done here. There was, and it's very interesting because do you guys, do you remember, those of you that are in the group, or no, I think you were in our other group, um, our other journal group, and there was something really weird that was happening with Facebook at that time, and I lost a bunch of stuff that was in the featured mm, I didn't it was know so that. strange yeah strange. it was really strange well we'll fix it when we're done here yeah we'll get it taken care of my apologies you guys i did not prepare a drink and dip recipe for tonight nina but i will try to get it together so that 
for our last night together, we yep. have a recipe. Which is to be announced. Yes. And I think our last night, I am going to be... Um, we had an incredible giveaway the last time, remember? Yes. Oh my gosh. And I still owe somebody a, um, a gift certificate because she found the magic box. Yes, the last one. But yeah, I think uh, I'm going to be giving away some, some goodies. That's fun. Yeah. Suzanne said in the 18th century, sweet ginger flavored biscuits were known as gingerbread nuts. Is that right? We beg, this is a quote, we beg the receipt of your gingerbread nuts, wrote Joseph <laughs> Jekyll in a letter dated 1775. Oh, doesn't that sound intriguing? Wow. All right, and then I am going to actually, I'm going to trim because I love this. So I am going to. Trim this. Well, Stephanie, all Stephanie's ornaments got water damage, so she's redoing them. Is that right? And and I'll tell you, this will just fit. Just. And then I'm gonna take another piece. So let me get this on here first. It's a little fussy, but it's kind of fun. That's what ornaments are all about, is being fussy. Oh, my yeah, goodness. fiddling and fussing. It really is. I'm so excited to uh, make ornaments, little felt ornaments with Hattie. I cannot wait. Yes, that's going to be fun. Okay. And I'll tell you, if you position this correctly, it literally is is like a perfect fit. Shannon joined the group. Hi, Hi Shannon. It's like she joined our group for tonight. Oh, good. And it's literally just fits. So I'm just double checking again to make sure I'm covered on all sides. I've got people coming from both ways. Deb Bird's came to YouTube because she couldn't comment on Facebook, but somebody came from YouTube to Facebook because they couldn't comment on YouTube. Oh! <laughs> so who knows? All right, and then we're going to put this one right up next to it. Gia said um, Hi, Facebook Gia. is changing a lot, and she hears that a lot is being lost, and the links don't work properly either. Oh, Very difficult. Oh, gosh, it's so hard, you know? Well, when we had that happen with when we got that when we got shut down for violating community standards, yeah. Um, remember, I looked into like, okay, where can we can we just stream to our own website, have our own, and and so I looked into it as far as being able to have it live and to comment. We can and, have it live. It's live right now on our website. No, but I'm just saying, like, to have the yes. interaction that yes. we have here. Yeah. Um. It's I can't. Like, nope, not not for less than like multiple thousands of dollars yeah. a month. <laughs> like if yeah. you're a home shopping network, yes. that's what it would be. Yep. All right, so we will. But they're working on it, and I am hopeful. I think there's enough people that would like that to happen. Okay. All right, so now we have the bases for those. I'm going to move on to um, this little guy here. For this, I'm going to use some Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Medium. Hmm, switching transfer No, mediums. I'm sorry. Fusion Antiquing Glaze. Did you get some or no? I didn't. I just need a little sample. Yep. yep. And let's try our other gingerbready guy. Make sure this is completely dry. And I'll show you also what I did is I took a little bit of my white paint and I literally just painted some of these Tim Holtz holiday bells and one of the little uh, word plaques. Okay? And just put some white paint in there and then I wiped it back with my finger to reveal to reveal that metal. See that? Okay. I just want to make
make sure this is nice and dry. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to do a little dry brushing with some white paint. Thank you. Well, let me get a scruffier brush. So JR and I have been, we went last night after we closed, we, we went we went over to the workshop and we worked on that dollhouse together. And it was fun. We had fun. So this Good. is white paint and I'm just going to remove the excess. And then I'm going to just go over the top of this. Just like I did with my gingerbread wreath. Right? Just to catch the... make that dusty frosting kind of a look. Oh, Corinne said, I heard a paint artist refer to one of your words over the weekend, scrumbling. Yeah, absolutely. Or scumbling, is, which remember, I didn't believe it was a real word. That's exactly right, you didn't. And I was proved wrong. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you can find our Amazon store right in the, if you're on YouTube, it's right in the description box on YouTube. You can find a link to that, Deb. Yeah, you can move into that bougie dollhouse, Cheryl. Absolutely. Oh man, I'd love to have you. It's so it's so my style. I'm telling you, it's all white. And then um, I shared it in the stories last night as we were working on it. Um, I we have wood floors. All the interior is white. Now I just have to paint the trim, but that, <laughs> that'll be another day. And um, but it's really cute. Hey, while I've got this out, let me. Um, I'm gonna just take my decoupage varnish now. Let me dry this. A hot buttered rum. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh, I've never had that. It sounds delicious. I'm not crazy about rum. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like rum in certain things. I like it in eggnog, a spiced rum, like a black spiced rum in eggnog, or in a dark and stormy. I feel like you would like a dark and stormy, Mom. It's ginger beer, lime. Well, I like that half baked harvest uh, Paloma mm -hmm. recipe that I shared with you. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. It did look good. I already have my Thanksgiving cocktail picked oh, out. Oh, I know you do. Um, okay, so I'm using rock candy because I just love how fine it is and it's not um, sharp, you know, yes. like, like diamond dust is. Um, and we are sold out of this. We cannot get this any longer. If that you was got a this, edition, oh right? yeah, if you yeah. got this big size, good for you. So I'm I'm just using the smaller version, or we have the smaller version on our website. But you, if you're, I just don't want anybody to be surprised if they order it and they don't get that big one because it's gone. I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, and I'm gonna give this just a little sprinkle because we want it to look like sugar. So pretty. And that will dry a little transparent. I love it. Okay. Put that aside because I will be using that again. All right, let's get this dry. I love my little parts. I also took one of the little uh, holiday adornments, the little wreaths, and I painted it white that and put a little red on it because it's going to sit on my on my little gingerbread house. Very cute, Mom. Right? I think it's so adorable. We and just got more ginger and spice molds in, by the way. We were out of them for a minute, but now they're back. And I'm going to be using confections because I'm crazy about those confections. Yeah, they're really cute. I 
hope everybody had a great weekend. We uh, got our tree up, and um, how's that going? It's going okay. The cats are very interested in the box that came in. Okay. I had a couple times I caught them at the very beginning, like trying to chew on the end of a branch. Yeah. So they were scolded. And, and do they respond? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I can't imagine Mrs. Puff responding to scolding. <sighs> well, <laughs> they're kittens. Okay? <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah. So they, um, yes, they responded. And but who, who the heck knows what they're doing when I'm not there all day, right? <laughs> you should put a kitty cam. <laughs> a kitty cam. <laughs> Our, one of our, our printer guys yes, has a kitty one. cam. He and he can us. send the kitty treats. Yes. And shoot treats out yes. of it. Is that crazy or what? Like he can call the kitty, the kitty comes, and he can electronically shoot a treat out. Oh, that is craziness, isn't it? It was fun to watch when he showed us, though. So I just left it. I've left it since, gosh, Friday? No, Saturday. And all day yesterday, and honestly, they really, I don't know, they're, maybe. They're not that interested, right? Maybe they're not. And I said, I am not putting, like, my beautiful antique shiny bright, or no. shiny brights, I'm not doing the antique German blown glass ornaments. It's not the None year. None of that. It's not the year for that. No, it's not. And so what I will be putting on there is, actually, the video is going to be coming to YouTube, and I will be showing how Laura Jean and I made those awesome um, clock faces. Is it already all filmed? It's all filmed. Yeah, I just have to. Um, I have to do a little bit on my end. Is Laura Jean doing that with her tree as well? She did. Yeah. Yep. She did. So we we both have the look, and she cool. already sent me videos of hers. Are we going to be doing a who wore it better? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who wore the clock faces better? Yeah, right. And then um, on my tree, I've put them on for many years. I don't know if I did last year, but yeah, the JR and I took the um, like spindles, you know, yep. like furniture spindles, and from like we always save all that stuff. And my sweet Instagram friend that we have followed each other for many years, Dory. Um, over on Instagram, um, made she makes these um, just spindle ornaments like cut in chunks. And I asked her, you know, did I have her permission to make them and um, show them on my tree? Because I would certainly, um, you know, link to her because yeah. she does make custom sets of them. And she said, oh my goodness, by all means, please do. And I have loved them so much. We stripped down so many of those spindles. Cool. But I love, I just love the look that they have. And of course, they're kitty proof, so. Absolutely kitty proof. Yeah, which is another really great thing. That's right. So there we go. Oh, cute. look how cute is that? Cute. I could bring this down a little lower, you guys. Okay, and so that will sit on there like that. One pound of treacle. What is that? What is treacle? And Judy said she saw Laura Jean's tree on IG. It was very cute. Yeah, very pretty. Mm hmm. Kathy said, every time she tunes in, you're working with a sharp object. Is that right? <laughs> I just saw, Kelly says, I just saw a crafter on a channel using Epsom salt for glitter, shimmer, snow. Anyone ever tried oh. that? Have you tried it, Mom? No, I have not. this. Treacle is molasses, Mary said. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mary. 
interesting question. Carol said, "Can I?" Carolyn said, "Can I use store bought beach sand instead of the rock candy? I have tons." That I I don't know. Is that a brand or is that an? Are you actually talking about sand from the beach? Rock candy is is a glitter. So um, you know whatever gives you sparkle and shine, go for it. Right? No, I'm curious about beach sand. What is it? So yeah, it's gonna sit like that. Let me get my Tide Pond, quick and thick. Have a great day, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. If you want your things to quickly stick, Tide Pond, pond quick, quick and thick, available at Allen Shakers. Thank you for singing along, Megan. Well, if Leah's not here, I have to. Leah does it best. That is really. Are you using glass resin or no? On this, I'm so. not for these. That's like my favorite when you. Do I that. know when the, it creates that little well in there. Yeah. Okay, so we just want to make sure that this is lined. Right. Why? I'm curious why you're not doing it for these. Why I'm not? No, it looks so cool. <laughs> because I'm putting a big house over it, so. I still think you would just give it that other level of dimension. Megan, someday you are going to have your own channel and you're going to be able to do <laughs> whatever you want. That's that a good question, Brenda. Like I said, fun. wouldn't Epsom salt distort any color it's on over time by pulling liquid? And, and I wonder that too. And I also wonder at how, um, you know, if you live in a place where there's like moisture and yeah. um, humidity. I don't know what you mean, YouTube is removing subscribers. I hope that's not true. What does that mean? Tracy said, some of my foster cats have not shown an interest in the tree. For the problem children, get a spray bottle of water slash vinegar, and when the kitties start to chew or climb the tree, you give a mist of water not at them, but above them. Oh, okay. I've used this method for years with my fosters as well as my own cats. That's a great, great tip, Tracy. Thank you. Just to expedite this, I'm gonna. Use my razor knife. That looks so cute. That, I love those candy straws or whatever they are. I love that I paper. Know. I'll tell you what, I have collected so many of those. Many of them went out in, in your kits. Mm -hmm. And um, we, I love them. Cats hate the smell of vinegar. Who knew? If you have a picture of your cat in your Christmas tree, please send it to me. I'd love to share it. Someone said they took a picture every year. Someone said that last week. I, I have gotten a few of them. Oh, good. Yeah. I know it doesn't look very Christmassy, does it? Not at all. It's only, this one's more wintry. Right? also remove it this way. Take your little sanding block, your little edge of sandpaper, whatever you have. Those little sanders are in our Amazon store. I, are they? Yep. I love them. I wish we could sell them here. I know. The next best thing is to make um, one cent for every people that buy one on Amazon, <laughs> <You know. laughs> yeah. Yeah. which we are grateful for. Absolutely. It may buy us lunch every six months, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I'll take it. Boy, 
I love that clean finish on there. Yeah, it's so and satisfying. Then, I mean, honestly, you guys, look at that beautiful combination. I love. Isn't that pretty? Yes. It's so pretty. This fly is not pretty. I know. And it's what very un-Christmassy. Why, why do we have a fly? I don't know. It's not the season for that. So pretty. It really is. It's going to get prettier. It is going to get Imagine prettier. Imagine that had glass in the middle. <laughs> that one even more than the other one. This is our Fusion Antiquing Glaze. And you guys... I just have a little sample jar I'm using, but we have the full-size ones. Mm -hmm. I love this color. Um, I go between this and uh, the um, Debbie's Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina. Because they have such a different they have color, different tones. but they're both yep. perfect. So I'm going to give this a little brush of... You can find our Amazon store. It's in our the About section on our Facebook page. There's a link. And also on YouTube, it's in the description box below every video. You can find a link to our Amazon store there. You can layer this to make it as dark as you like. Are Epsom salts glittery though? I don't know. They just seem like they're just... Like when I put them in the bath, I'm not seeing any sparkle. I guess I could see like they're... How they might catch the light. That little wreath looks so cute painted. Isn't it adorable? Epsom salts do sparkle. Interesting. It's very interesting. I guess I the yeah the other the only thing I would be concerned about with that is I mean I know like it when it gets humid mm -hmm. that they would melt down a little bit or absorb yeah. the moisture yeah. um, would be a concern that I would have. All right, we're gonna let that dry just a little bit. Well, actually, you know what? Let's get some. Uh, Put some snowy glitter on. Oh, no, let's first. Do you want fresh water? Sure. That's looking a lot more like milk than water. <laughs> Whole milk. <laughs> you just get a little bit of my white again. Oops. And I'm just going to touch. And you could get fancy and do, you know, you could certainly do um, you could make your houses whatever color you wanted. You could also, uh, you know, use like like snow paste or something like that. I feel like I want it to be a little darker. Ooh, 
Deborah said, Megan, get the cooking channel going. I've got a white chocolate rum sauce for bread pudding that's to die for. I want it. Are you in the group tonight? Because we can exchange, we're going to exchange some cookie recipes, Christmas cookie recipes in our um, Christmas journal class tonight because the journal is perfect. It has a little box in it that's perfect for putting recipes in. Mm -hmm. um, yes, that class is tonight. Yep, you can still sign up and join us live or you can sign up next week. That's fine too, but if you sign up today, you can still catch it live. And I'll be checking all day right up until the time we start and even after we start to keep adding people to the group. It's really a nice, intimate group. But, you know. So fun. All right, let's glue this guy on here. And it doesn't matter if you have any of the supplies today either because we usually recommend that you watch through the first time. Let me get, I think I want to use my collage medium, because this collage medium by Tim Holtz will glue, um, it will glue everything, everything, metal to, it is really cool, metal to resin, metal to paper, metal to plastic, plastic to plastic, plastic to glass, glass to metal. Andrew's wondering, is there a particular decoupage paper I could use for an advent calendar with wood tags? Oh. Sorry, off topic, just wondering. You mean just something with, like, small designs? Or do you mean with numbers, like, as if it's made for an advent? We have, we have a few um, papers from Decoupage Queen that are advent. I think the advent Santas are gone. Are they? I just was looking through today and saw, saw some. Okay, so maybe there are some. I'm going to put a little sugar on this guy, too. little sugar? Um, it's, we start at 6 tonight. So cute. Oh, yeah, so many with small designs. Um, I'm trying to think right off the top of my head. The one that Mom's using right now, there's also one with little churches, uh, right? The winter churches. But mm -hmm. we have a whole collection, a Christmas Decoupage Queen collection on our website. Um, and she, I would say the Decoupage Queen papers would be the best place to start for ones with the collection of smaller images on a page. She's got quite a few like that. She has cutesy ones, romantic ones, um, traditional, all kinds of different. In fact, I just added quite a few new ones on Friday. There are the AB designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a link to that one for you, Andrea, if that sounds interesting, the churches. That one would look actually really nice with the paper that mom just used, the winter scenes. You could definitely use those together. Megan, 
You probably want to go to Aldi. You. I've bought the past 48 mini Diet I know. Cokes. Your turn. You're it. Tag, you're it. It's the best to buy them in 48. You might as well get 48. <laughs> I know, seriously. <laughs> These are just ribbons that I've dyed with um, my mica sprays, Tim Holtz mica sprays. I feel like I want pink on there. No, that's understandable, Tracy. That's, um, that is a little tricky, but it's in, if you look in the description underneath on YouTube, you'll see first there's a link to our supply list and right underneath that there is a link to our Amazon store. Do we like the pink? Uh, of course I do. I don't know if I'm digging it. But then you gotta do something different. You would know right away if you loved it. I know. I don't have a wide. Um, man, I, that is pretty. That is pretty. That's kind of pretty. Hmm. All right. Come on. This is. You All know what it gets. Ribbon. It gets to the, well, it's the like getting green the bright green. might be cute, I was too. thinking, I was wondering that, too. Like, the bright green. It's yeah, different. I think so, too. I like that. Do I, it reminds me of spearmint, which I don't like, but. I don't either. It's cute. I don't either. Not to bring up candy again. <laughs> but one of, <laughs> one of my favorite limited edition Christmas candies is the Junior Peppermint Crunch Junior Mints. And man, they sell out so fast. I was just at a Target today and I literally took the last box, little box of them. They are good. They're so good. Only our site posted, and I'm looking at it right now. And I see it says, Our Amazon favorite storefront. We receive compensation for items you purchase through this Amazon affiliate link. And then the link is right below it. In the description box underneath this video. Is that where you're looking? On YouTube? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you watching on? Are you watching on a... On YouTube. She's talking to me on YouTube. No, I mean, is she on a tablet? Is she uh, on a... I see. It's also in the about section on our Facebook page. And I'm going to see if I can just also just post it in the comments here. I mean, look at these cute little mints. And I'll put it right in the comment here for you if you're having a hard time finding it. In the description. Hmm. Let me go on my YouTube on my phone and see if it shows up. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna grab a little collage, a little collage medium and just coat some of these candies. We just want this all glittery and wonderful. And See what she's saying? Like when you're watching on a phone like this, mm -hmm. there is no description down below. Oh, because oh. we're it's because we're live. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you have to, you'll when have to we're catch it later. Yeah, when you're done, when we're done with the video, you'll be able to see the description box. Okay. Now your edge. What I would do on the edge is I would take my paint and I would paint this nicely around the edge. And then I would give this a nice coat of sugar. 
That's actually good to know. That means they, like, while we're here, they also can't get to our supply list while we're live. Oh, great. So I will start posting that in the comments as well. But Oops. it's it's easy. When we're done, you just go to the, then you, you should be able to go to the description box then. Sorry, my little wreath fell off, but it, it the... When you're gluing with the collage medium, metal to metal, you do have to, um, it takes a little bit to dry. It takes a little longer. But it typically sticks very Oh, it does, very and, fast. and it will. Well, it, it's not that it sticks fast, it just, it's, it, um. The Junior Mint Candy is, <laughs> sorry. I really am going to try to go one episode without mentioning candy. Yes, it's the Peppermint Crunch Limited Holiday Edition Junior Mints. They come in a red box. I have some in my car right now. I should have brought them in to show you. Oh, Deborah said, I watched seven channels religiously. By accident, I found I was no longer subscribed. Your channel was one of them. I checked this morning, and again, I had to subscribe. Thanks for messaging. Really? Wow. It's so funny. I wonder why. It's not funny to me. No, it's not. It's not at all. Oh, yay, Sally just got her gingerbread mold and her snowflakes. Great. And I just got, we just got more gingerbread molds for anybody who was looking for them. Jean said, not to be artsy, but it needs to have a wee bit of dark contrast. I get it. I get it. Yep. So, Melissa LeBlanc, you can see the supply list and the Amazon link in the description box or here in the comments. You can see them, Melissa. And how are you watching? Yeah, because I'm watching on a computer and I can see the description box, but I think maybe when you're watching from a, from maybe a, a mobile device, until we're done being live, you may not be able to see it. I'm going to look into that. Oh, Deb is obsessed with Junior Mints. Have you had these ones that I'm talking about, Deb? I'm just taking my paint and running it along the edge so that it catches the edge and it almost looks like it's dipped in frosting, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I said I love that. It's so cute. Melissa, I'm curious if you're watching on a computer or how are you watching today? Because she can see it in the description box. All right, that's weird. Well, if she's watching on a computer, that may just be the answer. Because mm -hmm. when I just went on my phone, I could also see it was live, so I could just see the comments below. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have done this part uh, before I got all this on here. I should have frosted my beautiful cookie. Oh, Deb, I hope you can find some. Oh, yes, I love the peppermint um, Trader JoJo's. Those are the best because they have, like, the little crunchy inside, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, Leslie can see everything in the description box on a tablet, and Melissa can see everything in the description box on a laptop. Hmm. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think you're right. I gotta, I've got to get some darker contrast in here, whoever said that. But look how cute that is. That's adorable. All right, let's hurry up and get this one put together. I'm going to use some Pentart sparkling gel we haven't pulled that out in a while no
Dagny's here. Hi, She's Dagny. watching while she paints projects. We miss you, Dagny. So this is just going to tone down that outside a little bit. Hey, Karen from Australia. Go get my... There's a little thing of pouring resin. Get the fusion. Because on that one in particular? Yeah, it would be pretty. You're right. A little thing of it, huh? Yeah, it's like kind of a small... Not, like not what we sell? Yeah. There's, there's the fusion big one, and then there's also... Um... So you don't want that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. There's also a Pentart pouring resin in a smaller size. I'm curious what the difference is between this and the glass. The glass resin? Yeah. Is it it just takes longer to cure. It's 24 hour cure. And the and the fusion is this is an acrylic base, so um it doesn't it just doesn't it doesn't take as long? No. Mm -mm. So Who knew? Just a little bit of sparkle. I don't want a lot of sparkle. We're gonna keep this one. Dollar this. Tree has the Junior Mint Peppermint Crunch, Laura. What? Whoa. <laughs> That's a hot tip. Hot tip. Yep, the white chocolate peppermint pretzels are great. They were in the holiday candy section, Deb. They have at Target they have a whole holiday candy section. Whoops. Oh, beautiful. Let's get this sneak a little more. Okay, but before we glue that on, uh, okay, so Megan is saying, and I agree with her, we're going to do the pouring resin in here, and I just don't know if I can do it now, because what I want to do, I need to add my little bells, and you know what I mean? So... Oh, that's so cute, though. And I'll, I'll add some little bobble, like, to fill that in. So let me just lay this out real quick, and... I still want to see you use the little marquee that they made. Oh, Those yes. Those are so cute. Yes. So can you see, like, you can go, you could just oh, yeah. really do so much with these. Yeah, the treacle tart from Harry Potter. Maybe because they're saying treacle is like honey or syrup. Huh. <laughs> Kathy said, stop with the junior mints. I'm still trying to get the barley pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, who was that family of candies? Melville. Melville. I really <laughs> I wish to be I want to be sponsored by Melville. <laughs> <laughs> I know Treacle is like it. This name, <laughs> Kathy said, it sounds fishy. <laughs> like it, it can't like be candy. Something you'd find in like one of those English Crocs. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, exactly. <laughs> All right. Where's my Scissors. Do you need some? 
Like fresh just, set? Oh, there they are. Nope, got them. They were buried in ribbon. Did you pour the resin or you're not going to? Not yet. I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to. I do actually feel like that needs that glassy mm -hmm. texture to it. Mm -hmm. And I think what I'll do is I'll pro. Oh, yeah, I like it up there even. Do I like it up there better? No. No, I think I like it down there. You know what I think also is that it would be super cute. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna glue this on until after the resin is poured. Right. Or maybe it would come over this way. Yeah, probably over that way. But I, I really want to, I want to get the resin poured. I also think it would be really cute to have. Um, just a couple little sprigs of like white frosted yeah. greenery. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well. Actually, that's exactly what it needs. I think. Uh huh. Yeah. I think you're right. Even at the top. Mm hmm. It look mm hmm. Yep. So let's pour. Treacle is sweeter than molasses. Wow. Actually, let me show you what how I was gonna do the edge of this. This is our glitter paste. No, that's not called glitter paste, right? It's a mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, gold glitter my paste. Goodness. We yeah. have so many different combinations of the word glitter, paste, glaze. <laughs> yes, we do. Kathy said, Lynn, your nickname should be the embellisher. You know how to add just the right touches. <gasps> if she was a superhero, she'd be called the embellisher. The embellisher. <laughs> I'd pull two glue guns out of yeah. my holster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, guess what? It's dry. Well, it's dried up. Okay, well, let me get my fresh one. I am not, believe it or not, a lot of people think I'm the one doing um, our social media and tech things. That is not, I do some tech things, but really mom is quite good at it and doesn't need me, except for she just doesn't have enough time to do it all. But she's pretty great at figuring out that kind of stuff and usually teaches me and then I take it away from there. Oh, treacle is called black strap molasses in the U.S. Oh, okay. So we know what that is. So I'm just using this around the edge. Of course, two ornaments is taking me an hour and a half. That's right? okay. That is really pretty, that glitter paste. It's like a rain. What is that color? It's gold. No, this is gold. This is gold too. It's just the the medium that it's in is um, it when it dries down, it'll dry transparent. Right, but these are I'm, definitely two different colors. I know that we sell two different colors, and those are two different colors. Glitter paste, fine. Gold. Gold. But look, you see how different they Because are? that's dried out. I'm saying once the back, once the medium dries, you're left with this gold. Oh, interesting. Yeah, just the gold. I see what you mean. So that one is all done. Yes, I did that. Because we do have one that's a little bit of a different color than that, too. There's oh, there's like many. Different, many different glitters in it. Well, there's also many different colors. In yeah. It. Supply list, yes, we do. You sparkle and shine. Kelly wants to know for you, Mom, was it just trial or an error, YouTube or your prior career? Where did you learn your tech savvy? She's just very well balanced like that and it is annoying because you like to think someone that creative wouldn't also be good at technical stuff, but she's quite good I at it. I, I'm always willing to I, try. Yes, I feel like it um, does has come fairly naturally to you though. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I just will, I, have I will literally like figure it out. 
you know. No, I know, but I do think you have a certain kind of brain that lends itself to learning those kinds of mm -hmm. things, and some people don't. Look at the lay. Oh, I wish you could see this, you guys. Because the layer of That's like really the sparkle, pretty. the glitter paste and the sparkle gel is so, so pretty. So sparkle, where's the sparkle gel? The sparkle gel is, is on there. I, I wiped it out. But I'm just looking for the container. I see glitter paste, but. Under here. Ah, yes. Sparkle okay. gel That's what and glitter paste. Yep. Yeah. I mean, why not? Add whatever's left here. But I will say that that helps me a lot when I'm trying to figure out tech things is looking up there as like a YouTube that will, video that will teach you anything. Oh, for sure. That's, I mean, so many times I have just looked for the answer and found a video and watched oh, it until I could figure it out. Okay. So I'm just going to hit, I'm going to put some of this on here when that dries, it'll dry golden sparkling gel. But it's not sparkling acrylic? Nope. It's hmm. no? the only thing on our website that says sparkling, so I think that that probably is it. So these little guys, we're just going to put those aside until we got a bunch of them. That's what comes up for sparkling acrylic. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs real quick and see what we have so I can <laughs> get it up. Okay, let's do a little pouring resin in here. And then I'm going to have to let this sit for 24 hours to dry. We just want to move this around. It'll give a really pretty glassy effect. This will also be pretty with fine line crackle in there. Jean said, sometimes with tech, you just have to start pressing buttons and then figure out what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's that Jean Hagen bottom. Oh, Pentart is like so fun. And most everything is like $10 and under. So you can say, oh, I'll try this little thing. <laughs> Stephanie said, technology repels me. <laughs> There's no mixing with this kind of resin, no. Nope. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. This is just an acrylic pouring resin. Whoops. Oh, I just went right over my edge. Dang it. But you just want to keep rotating this and tipping it until you've got that whole thing covered. You can kind of move it around. And then you let it sit flat. That's really pretty, even just like that. That is so pretty. Um, you can sprinkle, while this is wet, you could sprinkle a little uh, glitter in there. It depends, you can do so many things, you know. And then this is the guy, this is gonna sit. I don't really wanna put them on there, but that will sit like that, right? And then we're gonna do the Season of Magic. I'm gonna do a little bit of um, greenery with this. I mean, that would even be cute. I think this would be cute right up here on top of the, the house. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of greenery. I might even use my Tim Holtz um, dye for the, the festive greens um, and do some die cuts out of a metallic and do that. But I think that would be really cute. But for right now, this has got to settle. And so we have a beautiful winter scene 
and we have a beautiful gingerbread cookie scene. I think these are adorable. Yes, the pouring resin is uh, is actually in the supply list for today and on our website, yep. Really cute. Really, Love it. really cute. What's the shelf life for the resin? Like how long? Oh gosh. You can use this for, I mean, I've had this open for months. Um, and <laughs> the other thing is, is I've, I use this like on trays. Yes. And it looks and, really and cool. And it's really pretty on trays. So, okay. Let's Melissa get... said maybe the fly will land in the resin. Somehow. <laughs> Let me get. This is not charging. It's still at 30%. Yeah, that fly is going to land in the resin. You watch. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much. Um, our journal class is tonight. And. This is like a little sneak peek of it. I'll be working on a second one at the same time. But um, what so I want cute. you to see is it has options for adding um, other things on the inside. I haven't completed it because I will be sharing that process along with you. But here I added a little, um, little notebook, little journal that is tied in. And then this is that box we're talking about. And I'm, I, this one will feature my Tim Holtz family, but, um, and I'll be decorating this out, but it's so, so cute, so cute. But you could fit a recipe card in here, family photos. The one that I'm gonna be starting tonight is gonna be all like little botanical cards, like cute. all, all uh, Christmas botanicals. But I think it'd be so fun if we share, um, Christmas cookie recipes in the group. Yes, and then we, we can, will. Some mm -hmm. people can add those to their boxes. Yep. So this will close up like this, and it'll have so many other fun details that will be added to it. And you guys, I can't wait to see you there. I think uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy. So there is a link to the resin right in the supply list that's posted. I love in this the stuff. I'm telling you right now, I yeah. love this stuff. I now when I do a tray, I pour that over it and that's what I use. Um, I also added a link to the class um, in the description on Facebook and on Facebook it's going to be the pinned comment. Yep. The class that we're doing tonight. So pretty you guys. So pretty. I cannot wait to finish these up and then give you the beauty shot. But look at, oh my gosh. Like, isn't that just such a special, special little ornament for um, I love it. someone that you love a lot? <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. And we will see you uh, tonight yes. at six o'clock in our journal group. Um, can't wait. It's always a good time. Bye. Bye. Cheryl said, here's my recipe. <laughs>